Ah, the city of Roundabout. The big twist. The city that always spins. If you can drive through here, you can drive through anywhere. Now, you might notice that things are a little peculiar around here. Well, that's because this is Roundabout. Everyone does things different around here. But I'm getting ahead of myself. Hey, voiceovers are a thing now. So, yeah. <laughs> Let's play this game together. Hi there. Uh, Geo Riggio Manus? Hey. Meet Giorgio Manos, the world's first revolving limousine driver. Great. Well, I'll be the instructor for your limousine operator's test, so just keep things straight and quick, and this will be over ASAP. Hmm. If only our pal here could see inside Giorgio's head. See, there's only one way this chauffeur drives. And it's with a twist. Giorgio never stopped revolving. As a kid, Giorgio learned to move with the spin instead of fighting it. People, small obstacles, nothing could stop Giorgio from twisting and turning. Well, except for buildings, lampposts, you know, things taller than a limousine. B but against everything else, unstoppable. Almost. Well, I guess you passed, barely. Here's your driving report. You'll get one of these after every ride. Wait, why is your number on here? Enjoy the thrilling world that is the luxury transportation industry, I guess. 59% against myself. Yay! With a limo license, the world was Giorgio's oyster. Passengers everywhere would experience a true revolution in transportation. But at what cost? Hey kid, the name's Mickey. Mickey the Mechanic. Hey. I've never seen anyone drive like you just did at the DMV. Can you show me some more? I need a ride to my shop down the block. Sure. Uh, you know you got some stuff on your face, right? I think it might be oil, but who knows. This spinning thing is even better from the inside. You should see it from the outside. Oh, wait. This, all this, is the future of transportation. All the blood. A lot more blood than I thought would be in this game, but... Wow, kid. Have you ever thought of going pro? What? Look, if you ever want to take on the city, just come back to me. Hell, I'll even help you out with parts. You and me, kid, we could go all the way. Oh, okay. Okay, okay. You just met me, it's a little weird. But kid, seriously. Think about it. I'll be right here at the garage. Sounds good. Okay, 79%. Kids. So. Hi, driver? I'm sorry, my car is stuck at the stupid mechanics and my kid is late for school. Can you give her a ride there? Thanks. Um. Uh. Uh. Communicating silently was Giorgio's bread and butter. With just a quick look at the stare on that adorable munchkin, Giorgio knew they needed to make a detour. Let's just cut through here. Yeah, it's, it's done already. Yay! Alas, all good things must come to an end. Giorgio needed to get these pint-sized pals to school. It's just overwhelming. Blood? Oh, Let's man. take the bike truck to school. Make sure that's just not the, the red you're seeing on the, on the ground? Fire truck? Or just say the trail? No. 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 Uh. There we go. <laughs> I don't believe that was the girls, the girl and the boy laughing. Pretty sure it was a guy and a girl. Pretty sure. Cute. 
can we keep going, please? Pretty, please? No. Oh, fine. That's what I thought. Where's our next place? There it is. I'm heading to the school's baseball field. Hey! Oh, it's you. Yeah, so I teach both driving and baseball. You want to make a big deal about it? No. Those kids aren't going to base those balls themselves. Let's go, Giorgio. Uh, man. Don't mind the blood. It's just... It's not from me, it's, it's from that other revolving driver. You know, that guy? Yeah, I know. The school spends all this money on learning and buildings, but they can't even put a baseball stadium on campus. Priorities, am I right? Yeah, you're definitely right. Those, those people just died on that fence, or... Blood. Worse than I thought. I don't know if what they're doing even counts as baseball. <laughs> oh, that's so ter that's okay, that's kids. terrible. Listen oh up. my gosh. Hey, listen up. I don't know what you're doing here, but in this town we play baseball. You see the chauffeur here? Hey. Even Giorgio can play better baseball than you. Show him. Okay, I guess I'll do this with my limousine. Giorgio had never used a limousine as a baseball bat before, but there's a first time for everything. Yeah, announcer guy. Look at that one go. Home run! All right, kids, see? That's how you do it. Now get out there and give me ten laps. Come on, move, move, move! I'm so sorry, headphones users. I know that probably hurt. I'm sorry. Seriously. Not really, though. No. Uh, I'm picking up my date down the road. Well, uh, I mean, we're seeing a movie after, but, well, she's just meeting me. Oh gosh. Mm. A little nervous? I get the feeling you are. What is this? Oh no. What if she's allergic to flowers? Damn it, Steve, you ruined everything. No, no, you didn't. Just go with the flow. It'll be good. Just like me. See? I'm pretty, pretty good. Oh, no, wait. Maybe. No, I'm not. Don't listen to me. Do your own thing. Can I go? Can I go? No. I guess we're going back. Concrete barriers ruin and stuff. Uh, stupid concrete barriers. Hi. Uh, let's let's go, driver. Uh. What? Oh, those are buildings. Okay. Second, why why did we pick her up in the back of an alley? So. Seems kind of uh, you like movies? Oh, I think there was a can. Yeah, yes, there was. The movies are okay. Do you like movies? Yeah, I love movies. What about you? Uh, too. Uh. <laughs> Gotta make sure you get your daily death quota in. It looks like we're at a drive in theater. Looks like, yeah. Yeah, this is a drive in theater. Th thanks. So. Do I pay you now, or later, or do I- Oh! Thanks, Giorgio. Wait, you got a limo to drive us to the drive-in theater? Damn it, Steve! Okay, see you next time. Later. Bye. Ah. Uh...